So this part of the video is called The Box Heard Right Across the World. People, that is exaggerated, but them tell me. If you want to bust on YouTube, you have to tell a bag of lie and over-sensationalize your stuff. So I just I try a little thing. I am speaking about a video that is making its round on social media in which a set of students male had some sorts of verbal altercation. The verbal altercation ended up with one student railing up and clawed to the next one cross him face. Giving him what they call a yezas, that means uh, when you get a clotting and your ears start to ring. Because of YouTube's policy, I will not show that video. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, you have the video and I want to show it. Well, because I don't want to lose my channel. And when I come and beg you to help pay my bills, you have to tell everybody, say, the blogger broke like dog. I am not going to give you that opportunity. So therefore, I am going to do it my way. So the next one, box the next one. Obviously, if you feel as if you're big, bad and bold for drape up somebody and clap them and they don't respond, then obviously that will make you the bully and the next person not so much kind of afraid, intimidated. Now, people, I am not one person telling anybody, say, the boy that forget some sorts of five star in him side, in him neck or whatever. But me just I say, had it been me going to school, homie is not going to play that. What if this youth cannot defend himself, but him have other family members that are willing and able and have that M.O. characteristics of the gangsterism that they are going to learn some sorts of A-T-T-A-C-K on this child or at the school. Now people, truth be told, I consider myself legal, law-abiding, taxpaying citizen of a couple of nations. However, had that been my child, I don't think that I would have taken it like that. As a matter of fact, I will give you a case reference. When my son was smaller, younger, his mother used to take him over one of her free her friend's house. She had a son that was probably a little bit older than him. And one occasion him come home, I see him have a little bump on him face. And I say, I warm to you. And him say, X, Y, Z, lick me. So I said to him mother, wait, I want go on. Oh, you make him carry him out and make this happen to him. She talked to the mother, whatever, whatever. All right, cool. First time. Next time it happened again. I see my son and him I tell me, say, you know, say X, Y, Z, lick me. And I said to him, eh, again? All right, here we do. Not only am I telling him, I am showing him. I say, where you do? You fold up your hand like this. And I show him, I clutch my fist and I say, and you say, the next time him touch you, you just lick him in his belly. You just punch him and I show him. I don't punch him in his feet belly, but I show him so he get the drift. All right, him go back again the next time. And the boy tried it again. And he did exactly what his father told him to do. People, this is no made-up story. I live a very exciting, entertaining life. You see, the next time I see him and the little boy, the little boy, I walked behind him. Little boy was submissive. You know, when you watch those shows on Discovery Channel in the Serengeti, and you see the lion, the alpha lion, occasionally him have to rail up and claw the next one across him face to make him understand himself. That is the message that he sent. After that day, 
him and that boy are still friends. Best of friends. But that boy, I respect him ever since that day. day. And people, I am now telling you, if your child gets any sorts of A, B, U, S, C at school, that you should take the course of action that I do. However, me just deal with things differently. Same way me act on social media. It is not made up. Homie don't play that. So therefore, don't make people take advantage of your picnic. Me not going to say, if you go to school and go postal, but me just I say, you have to set example, get some sort of result, make sure that there's some sort of deterrence. Don't violate the law, but don't get people to violate you. I am just saying, parents, whenever you send a little bad bro picnic out there and them violate people, don't be surprised if people retaliate in either which way because when you touch people or step on people, whatever you get, maybe you might deserve it. Point blank and period. So if you look at your screen, there are a couple of pictures up there. This is what we call Jamaican rum cake, fruit cake, black cake. Mostly popular in a Christmas. However, this can be used for any and all occasions, including weddings, birthday, or just daily use. Like I said, I have tasted this cake on a couple of occasions, so therefore I can tell you that it is the most delicious one I have ever tasted. The person that is selling this, it is called Aunt Glenna's Premium Rum Cake. Premium being the operative word. You can contact her straight 1876 456 0773. Leave a message, whether it is WhatsApp or straight. Tell her that True Jamaica Buzz Jamaica Dance Hall Source sent you. The cakes are in £2, £3, £4, and £5. The price is dependent on that. I told her, listen. Satisfaction guarantee if people are not satisfied, you need to do whatever you need to do to make sure they are satisfied. That is the only way I am going to post this. So people again, phone number 1876-456-0773. Tell her I mean senior. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Squeechy them as squeech across the border. To take where the enemy, the opposition. Why Jamaica gangsterism is like fishing in our buckets. It is hard to hide. It is hard to get away. Sooner or later, the law of possibility or probability or even better yet, karma is going to get to you. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Nanneville on Monday nights. Where two individuals, Stephen Wallace, O.C. Blue, and them are pink. O.C., I guess, pink. Now, people, isn't it ironic that these people have colorful names when the facts are that their B-L-O-O-D run red and also the family is now singing the blues? Condolences to the family and the friends of these people that did not make it an ex-individual Luckily for him, he is presently in the hospital. Based on the Popo information, it is said that these three individuals, along with other persons, were just chilling on the corner. When a vehicle that was parked across the streets, the people just exited, alighted them, call it, and start light up the place. After the smoke clear, these three individuals were hit up. Let's say that two-thirds of them did not make it. Mr. Blue and Mr. Pink, B-L-O-O-D, ran red. Now, people, when we think about the fact that screech across the border should exist in these communities, adjoining communities, speaking about Swallowfield, speaking about Nannyville, speaking about Backbush, speaking about Mountain View, all of these roads down there that have all sorts of gang affiliation and war. How is it that these people actually saw a vehicle parked across the street and people, I am not trying to tip off any sorts of criminal because of course we want the results. How is it a car is parked across the street with a couple of the ops waiting in the cuts and you did not recognize it? 
but you consider yourself to be gangsters. Who are you kidding? I guess the people that don't know the streets better. Based on the Paul Paul report, it is said that Mr. Wallace was the target. I guess the suspect, the assailants, picked out their targets and picked off him head along with a couple other people. Call it casualty of war, collateral damages in the gangster world. It is said that this was some sort of reprisal for some sort of incident in which a young man lost his life in a some sort of Kingston era. The report did not specify if this era was adjoining, meaning either from Swallowfield, either from Backbush, either from um, Mountain View, one of those gang eras. However, they caught them slipping and they made them slid in the afterlife, at least 12 of them, including the intended targets. The report also stated that after the smoke clear, there were X amount of high-powered rifle spent shells. The intended targets, Mr. Blue, he was caught slipping. He was sent directly to the afterlife. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. At the end of the day, whenever a set of gangsters can get rid of a next set of gangsters, it is always a win-win preposition for that community, for the people of Jamaica upon a whole. If the poor poor can't get them out, let them self-destruct, point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it seems as if Champs is here early or late depending on who you ask. And I am speaking specifically about two videos that is making its round on social media in which an officer seems to be of the special response unit was seen in a some sort of video in a very compromising situation. Let's just say that she was blowing as if she is the big bad wolf. However, great lady, great officer. Now, people, I am assuming that this is a woman. The facial structure looks like some sort of woman. I don't know if it's a shibada, a cop or whatever, I am assuming. So I am going to give this person that was the recipient, recipient of the blow blow the benefit of the doubt that he is not of the fishy type. This lady was clearly seen in a uniform. Well, the top part that is. She was on her stomach. The man was on his back. And she was doing her thing. Not going to say that it is the best response I've ever seen as it pertains to blow blow. However, she was very proficient at her job. She was acting enthusiastic as if she was enjoying what she was doing. The rhythmic pattern were great. So therefore, I would give her maybe about a 10 out of 10, depending on the landing. If I was one of those gymnastic judge, that is, which I am not. Now, people, here is my disclaimer. I cannot tell people what type of fetish they are supposed to have. What I found very weird is that while this lady was doing the act or in the acts, she still had on her helmets. Don't know if this is because of some sort of precautionary measure or she did not want her facial features to be exposed and people are say, see the S-U-C-K hood officer there whenever they see her on the street. See the ice cream officer there. You know these Jamaicans are so therefore you have to kind of cover yourself literally. Don't know if this is some sort of public awareness program for the new 10,000 helmets that your government, Andrew Holness, said that he was buying. So therefore, this lady is proving to the people that are riders out there that listen, even while you are doing your thing, just take precautionary measures. Because the truth and the fact is that you don't know what might pop up, what might just catch you by surprise and hit you smack in the face, in the eye, in the nose. I am just saying it is a slight possibility that that could happen. So therefore, this lady was not taking any sorts of chances with her eyes. She was making sure that she was exposed or not exposed properly. So the moral of the story is that this video might put the JCF in disrepute, especially 
if there was any sorts of discharge on the uniform, it is always going to be a bad look for the poor poor. Whenever they get some sorts of black eye, especially when somebody SHOT an ex officer in the facial area, point blank and period. So the next part of the video is called Jamaican still full full. People still buy visa, US visa from half of the nets. People still get scammed for this. And people, I was in the process of recording my videos today. When I got a call, I was expecting some people to call me for some sorts of appointment. So I thought that it was them. So sillily, I responded and returned the call. When that person answered, I said, who is this? Because, of course, you know, I am taking precautionary measures, change up my voice and all. They said, oh, oh may I call about a visa? So I said, I was curious, a visa? What type of visa are we speaking about? The person responded, U.S. visa. I said, you are calling somebody? For a U.S. visa, are you buying a U.S. visa? The person said, yes. I said, let me tell you this. Whoever you are and whoever you are supposed to be trying to be calling, there is no sorts of visa being sold on any sorts of market, black, white, pink, or purple. The only way that you will get any sorts of U.S. visa in a Jamaica or anywhere else is if you go to the embassy, and you fill out the application and you go through that tedious process. Anywhere else that you're going to get this visa from, you are going to get scammed. Please, whomever you was calling when you made that mistake and call my number, please don't let them rob you. The person assured me, okay, I said, please. However, they call back. It seems as if they call back the wrong number again. Maybe they have the number mix up. So I said to this person, you must be an idiot. I lose your wife, lose your money. But just tell you, say I rob you, I get robbed. And you still a call, a hunt down, I look for the people. People at the end of the day, moral of the story is this. There is no sorts of visa being sold, especially US visa. On the market, any of the market, none at all, coronation market, Linstead market, pom pom market, it just does not exist. However, if you want to be a fool and be desperate and give away your money, such is your choice. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, this is called the cold hard facts of exactly what is going on in Jamaica. So whenever you go to that voting booth and you choose whoever you choose, make sure you choose wisely. One of the most important thing in any sort of choice is safety, security. Your life and the life of your children depend on it. There is a survey, recent survey, that shows the countries with the highest K-I-L-L-I-N-G rates Per a hundred thousand per capita, them call it. I think I am not any sorts of statistics. Wherever the word, the big word is, member seminar of that in a subject, them. The countries with the worst or the highest rates are as followed El Salvador, 52.02 per a hundred thousand people. Jamaica, 43.85 per a hundred thousand people. Lesotho, 43.56 per 100, and Honduras, 38.93 per 100,000 people, I guess per capita, them call it. So when we hear the Prime Minister, I tell you, sir, we are making steady advancement in economy, we are making steady advancement in crime, and all of those criminals that are mashing up the country, they are going to be in the place where they deserve to be very soon, in the big yard, better yet, in the G-R-A-V-E yard. He did not say that I am exaggerating. We see that nothing changed, and if it changed, it has changed for the Wasara. So therefore, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I did not organize, conspire, conspire 
in this survey, this is scientific people that actually go to school for stuff like this and this is what they come up with. So therefore, if you want to listen to them or you want to listen to the Prime Minister and these politicians that are giving you false hope, the choice is yours. I am giving you the cold hard facts. You can either accept it or you can deny it. Live in a state of denial, meaning, you know, foolishness. So anyways, people, like me say, that is that as it pertains to that point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.